Ready. What up, y'all? Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do something a little different. We are not in our normal setting. No, here. where are we? We are <laughs> in the Sprouts parking lot about to do a grocery haul. Yeah. So what, what's going on for 2018 here? Okay, guys. So I mentioned this on Instagram. I'm not sure if I mentioned it on YouTube or we mentioned it, I should say. Um, but we are going to do a sort of healthy 2018 challenge and like recipe series because for one thing we need to buckle down and we've been going a little too hard over the holidays guys Very hard. it's time to treat ourselves a little bit better yeah and we're not going to go all out and do completely whole foods we're going to still eat some tofu some tempeh a little bit of processed food but not much so the idea is to limit that and really focus on whole foods. Yeah, but not drive yourself crazy. Um, I'm not saying it's crazy, like I commend the people who can do it, but for me it's a little difficult, especially because I'm so used to eating things on the go or like grabbing snacks and that sort of thing. We're busy um, people, we gotta just keep things moving. So. Yeah, and like when we're not cooking for our recipe videos, I honestly like don't wanna cook because I'm so lazy after that. Um, but we are just going to try to eat as healthy as we can and ha as whole foods centered as we can and we invite you guys to join along with us. Um, so we're going to be doing a grocery haul right now um, for that purpose and also for some of the recipes that we're going to be making for the series in January. So we'll show you what we get and let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Peppers and sweet potatoes. We got some celery and a white onion. My all-time favorite apple is definitely Fuji Organic. It tastes so much better than the conventional and it's not waxy, guys, so we're gonna grab a few of these. We also got a pack of organic extra firm tofu. We're gonna make a tofu sandwich recipe. But most importantly, we have these reusable produce bags, and I don't have enough yet to put all the produce in, but I wanted to put these two specifically in it. Um, if you guys wanna check these out, I'll link them down below. But eventually, I'll invest in some for all of them. As of right now, I'm just opting for no bag, and it's working well, so. Yeah, I definitely suggest you check this out. So we are going to go over everything we got at the store, plus some ingredients that will be staples during our January challenge, I guess. And then a little more into what we're doing and what you guys can do to join along and that sort of thing. So let's do this. Let's do this. In terms of what we already usually have in the house, um, one thing is oats. Um, and I also have rice. I just didn't grab that. But oats and rice, we eat that almost every single day. Yeah. Um, it's funny, my family, my cousin said this and it's so true. Our moms make rice regardless of what we like, what we're going to eat for dinner. No one even knows what we're going to have later on in the day, but we know we're going to need rice. So I, I don't know. I thought it's, that was hilarious. It's always on. Yeah. So we have, and this one is oats. This one's like an oat um, mix. There's like quinoa, different greens, and it's from a brand called Soulful Project, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, so I put that all in here. Another thing is bread. We love bread. We love bread, and for one thing we wanted to say is that... This isn't a whole food, but... We're going to eat it so long as we buy the best bread. Um, make sure you look at the ingredients of the bread you're buying. Um, we chose sourdough bread because it has minimal... Oh, this, this is Country Glen, this isn't sourdough. Oh, but it still it like has minimal ingredients. Um, I think it's a sourdough starter, but... Okay, so that's really cool, um, and yeah, so I would just... I would just recommend this over like white bread or, or like, like prepackaged. Yeah, that sort of thing. If it lasts for more than a week, you probably don't want it. Yeah. And um, this bread will definitely not last that long, but what we do is just have it sliced at the store and then we put it in the freezer. We usually have a bread bag, but we forgot it today, so we had to get a plastic bag, but that's okay. Um, we're going to reuse this. So that's one of the things we got today. And I'm just gonna, we're just gonna mix up what we had and what we got, just, just to show you guys a little bit of what we're gonna be eating, because we have a lot on the counter already. Um, another thing is just like fresh veggies, um, some, a lot of squash, a lot of potatoes, a lot of potatoes. Like, yeah, so we just got like here. a giant sack at Costco of. Um, they sell organic potatoes there, which is awesome. And then we have butternut squash. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of avocado. I freaking love avocado and. <laughs> Tomato. Very Berry. <laughs> Come on. Um, we got tomatoes, tempeh. So this is an oil-free um, vegan bacon substitute, I guess. I love to put this on sandwiches, even like dice it up and put it in a salad or something. Still processed, but consumed minimally. You know. Yeah, we're not gonna be eating this like for every single meal, but it's good to include. It gives it some flavor. 
Of course, we have our nutritional yeast. Yeah, this everything. This is gold right here, literally. It really is. And I would just sprinkle it on everything. I would definitely recommend too. you guys get some. Um, you can buy it in bulk, which is cool. And then we have these crackers. So these are like oil-free crackers. Um, one of them is unsalted. The other one is, I believe, so salted. So they're ready to dip in hummus and things like that. Yeah, so this is just like for snacks. Instead of eating like chips, because the chips brand have is, a lot of oil. The brand is Edward and Sons. Yeah, Edward and, and Sons. They have some great products. They have a lot of cool stuff. Um, and then from the store, actually we have more. No. From the store, we got some fresh basil. Um, we're going to be using this for pesto and then it is a plant so we can plant it or grow it. Let's just place it in water and let it do its thing. Mmm. <laughs> All right, and next up at the store, we got some organic lettuce. So good. Chris just had some with his sandwich, right? It was fantastic. Some in the bag, let's stick it back in the bag. So we always have garbanzo beans, northern white beans, some sort of bean on hand. Jasmine's mom makes uh, sweet simple beans. beans too. They're really good. Really good. But we have these just if like we're in a pinch or if we don't have beans in the house and we want beans. Very likes open beans them. too. Yeah, very helps us eat them. We got some celery. We're going to be using this for um, like a snack platter we're making and also this just goes to eat. just to eat. It goes well in smoothies as well. As well, well. Well, in the time. It goes well in smoothies <laughs> as well. I got some blueberries. They didn't have organic today. I don't know why. I'm Dolly. I am Jolly and I am great, it says. Um, so we just grabbed some of these just for snacks. I love freaking blueberries. I'm trying to get Barry to like berries because his name's Barry, but he doesn't like berries, right? No, I'll just like smell them and like push He'll them like around. tear them apart and leave them on the floor and then I step on them. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, we got some broccoli. And just like. Just a, uh, what are these called? A butt of head? A head of broccoli? Yeah. It's not autofocus. The autofocus on this camera is not good. So we got some broccoli. Bear, come Berry. on. You can't be on the table. <laughs> and we got some more potatoes, of course. Ooh. Barry loves sweet potatoes. I'm not a huge fan of sweet potatoes. Jasmine likes them, but we always have them around. And then we got some peppers. So we're going to making a recipe with these, but Tri-colored peps. Yeah, and did you know these are all the exact same? They're just at di different stages of their their ripening. Oh, really? Yeah. Like this is the, the green one. Apparently, is the less nutrient less nutrient dense because it's like the less the least mature. Really? So like that's why people say not to buy the green ones because it has the least nutrient. So nutrients. if we let this sit, it'll turn yellow. Yeah, like the one in the garden. You know my mom's. Like they start like this. Have you noticed? And then they turn into red. Interesting. Yeah, that's amazing. Anyways, some organic Fujis. Um, organic Fujis are my favorite apple. What's your favorite apple? I like Fujis. Yeah. But organic is best because there's no wax on them. So great. Garlic and onion because we use it for every they have everything. Barry can't have those. Yeah, Barry can't have these. And then lastly, we just got a bag of mini carrots to snack on, and we're also going to be making a snack pot platter, like I said, so we're gonna be using that for that. Ginger. Ginger. Yes. Great for smoothies. Great to put in marinades. Great just, to cook with. I love great. it. Yeah, I love Beautiful. the flavor. <sighs> Another thing is, we don't eat this often, but I had a coupon and we got some cereal. And I like this brand because they don't have any added sugar in it. And there's a little salt, but that's basically it. It's just corn and salt um, for these corn flakes. So just try to choose cereal if you want to include cereal um, it, with like minimal ingredients. And yeah, that's like healthier than your average like Trucks or Fruit Loops. I was like trying to think of the name. We also got this unsweetened cashew yogurt from Forager Project. Um, we use it to to bread things if we want everyone to like batter and bread at something. So this makes a great. Um, you can also make dips out of it. Um, you can just eat it as well. Yeah, so. It's, it's unsweetened and plain. It's very versatile. Yeah. So you can kind of do what you want with it. And yeah. Minimal ingredients, just cashew milk and. Cultures. Barry cultures. just took something. Uh oh. What was that? So for our clean eating challenge in January, um, a challenge, we created a hashtag. 
<laughs> and it is... It is SSV Healthy 2018. So if you guys recreate any of our recipes or just make some whole food healthy recipes that you want to share, please... Use the hashtag. Join along. Join we would in. love to have you um, here to help support us and we want to support you. This is going to be a little difficult for us, but I think we really need it. I think it'll be pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. It's mostly have just have fun and... We'll just switch things up and start the new year right. So throughout the whole month of January on our YouTube channel, we're going to be sharing healthy recipes, um, refined sugar-free recipes, oil-free recipes, that sort of thing along the lines of this Whole Foods challenge. Incorporating mostly whole foods and minimally processed foods. <laughs> and again, we don't want this to be restrictive. If you guys want to include things here and there, go for it. We just want to put into perspective um, just how much processed foods we are actually eating and how better we will feel if we eat a primarily whole foods diet, so. Just keep it vegan. Yeah. That's all we ask. Well, yeah, this is a <laughs> vegan thing, guys. You know, we are vegan. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys can join along. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, sitting down with us and joining in on this challenge. And we will be vlogging as well throughout the month. I forgot to mention that. So we'll be sharing our thoughts and our experiences. We'll share a recap at the end um, based on what how happened, we how we feel and all that. So anything else to add? Just comment below. Let us know if you're going to join us. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.